There were people who doubted that the project would get done on time. We did have late deliveries, we had busy schedules as students, we had to deal with the weather, we had to deal with all these different obstacles. That wall's as thick as we want to make it, man, because yeah. that's an interior like, wall. How high is this window off the ground? Four feet. Four feet. So we should just paint the house blue and gold. So the idea is that you have ventilation throughout the house. Dude, right here is our hot water tank. Wait, not not no with way. this window. This window really ruins everything. When we broke ground, it was just a concrete pad in the end. We were trying to finish up the design phase of the project because we weren't really sure how long it was going to really take to put up. I mean, none of us really had a solid indication because we'd never done anything like this before. And then at some point early in May, we were able to get the materials. Um, the Davis College uh, provided some tools and um, we, we started to get rolling. I mean, it was, it was a very slow start. There was definitely doubt, but it motivated us even more just, just to show that, hey, like we can get it done. You don't believe in us, but we're still gonna get it done. And we're still gonna go to California and we're still gonna compete and we'll hopefully still win. It's been like a Morgantown rainforest here. It's rained almost every other day, and you're trying to build a house in the rain, and it's, and we were soaked the entire summer. But to overcome that, we built a giant tarp, a 16-foot high tent over the entire site, we continued to work. There's a lot of times when you think, oh, it can't get done, oh, it can't get done. But every time that we did think, okay, maybe it's not possible, there was always people there saying, no, it's possible, like, keep going, keep going, keep going. So I need eight foot joists. <coughs> we had 10, about 15. Yeah, we, today. Like we, we need, need it today. Our thought and philosophy behind this house is, you know, why can't we become the energy state on top of being the mountain state? You know, with the addition of solar energy, you know, we could be the number one producer of energy in the entire country. And you know, it could start here where people wouldn't really think solar energy in West Virginia. With a 37 panel array, if you're relatively conservative, there's no reason you can't be 100% powered by the sun. In West Virginia, you still have that ability to have a house that is completely off-grid, which means it's net zero. Any power you consume, you create with the array of solar panels on your roof. The sun is free, so might as well use it, so it's like getting free power. As the price of energy continues to rise, it's kind of nice to have something that is renewable. So what we've tried to do is take those concepts, those contemporary concepts of energy saving and of home automation and basically create an atmosphere that reminds you of an older style rustic home, but with all that in the background. So that's kind of what we've created here. And I think if all goes well, I mean, this can be a model for homes throughout the state and throughout the country. I think the most valuable thing that all of us have learned is problem solving. With this, if there's a problem that arises, you have to find a solution. There's no other option. The ability to overcome and adapt and improvise, if we gained nothing else, that was it. Being able to solve any problem, regardless of the difficulty, we've done it. So much you can learn from this project and so much you can take out of it that will really make your college experience complete. You'll get the fundamentals of class, but you also get the learning experience from building a house. You'll get the time management skills, you'll get the networking skills, you'll get the actual physical building skills. You take all this from the project and you could apply that to an interview for a job or um, your future life. Starting with just a slab of concrete, 26, 27 students were able to build this house and that alone is an incredible feat. 33 solar panels on this roof open these doors, and now you have the heat from this come into the house. Isn't that neat? All of this furniture, this table, the benches, and these are all made by us. The solar panels, we'll be able to charge the car with it, and it's all student built. This material, it'll last 100 years. 
Right now we face some challenges to get the house down in time to ship it out to California. And houses aren't meant to be built just to be broken down, but the project itself encompasses that, that it's easy, it's modular, and it moves quickly. So we're using all the time we have to get that down quickly and send it to California because we're all really excited to build it again in California. We're going to get that house out there and we're going to get it built. It's going to be functional. It's going to work. We have some very stiff competition between Stanford and Middlebury and a couple of the other big schools that have not only designed um, exceptional homes but also have competed before. But I think we're bringing something very, very unique to this year's competition that, that nobody has seen before. It's going to be a magical experience. We want to wow the audience. As long as we put on a good show, I mean, that's a win in our book. Even if we don't win, we still built a house that is going to function. We're still competitors and we're still going to have that experience from going to California and building that and be able to bring that back to West Virginia University and say, this is what we did, let's do it again and let's learn from what we did here and just keep bettering ourselves towards a house that will win.